Okay, in this video, we are going to consider the arc on the curve y is equal to natural log of x squared minus 1 from x equals 2 to x equals 8. And then we'll do three things. First, we'll find the arc length, and then we will take the arc, rotate about the x-axis, and find the surface area. And then we will take this arc, rotate about the y-axis, and find the surface area. And look at the little notes right here, prepared for you guys already. And in the videos right here, I will just show you guys the setup, and you guys can use your graphing calculator to do the integrals, all right? Sometimes when you set an integral for this kind of things, the integrals is either really hard to solve or impossible to solve. So just use a calculator for it, and pay really close attention to the details, right? Because maybe on the exam, you get just one part for the question, and you have to remember the setup for that part, and then use a calculator to do the integrals. All right, enough talking. Let's go ahead and do part A. Well, for the R length formula, as you can see, we have two versions. This right here is just a small change amount in the arc. So I call this to be the DL. And it depends on if we have y as a function of x or x as a function of y. In our case, we have y as a function of x, so we'll use this version for it. Notice, I just had to factor out the dx squared and then do some algebra, and we can end up with this side, right? So here we have the square root, but let me put on integral first, because this is just a small change in the our length. You have to use integrals to add them up. And we will have to put on the square root. One is one plus parentheses. Notice that we have to get our first derivative. Let's look back to here. I will differentiate this, which we get dy dx. And the derivative of natural log something is, of course, one over the inside. So we have x squared minus 1 in the denominator. And don't forget your chain rule. Multiply by the derivative of the inside, which will get you 2x. And we will just put that down right here. Let's write down 2x over x squared minus 1. And we square that. And we also have to have the dx. And as you can see, because of the dx, we know that we have to set this up to be going from x equals to 2 up to 8. And this right here is it. Again, use your graphing calculator. Right? Just practice how to use it so you can do that uh, later on right? on the exam also. So maybe you guys can leave a comment down below and let us know what the answer to these questions are. And whoever can get it right, pinch your comment. Right? That, that would be cool. Okay, next. Surface area. Well, in this case, the capital S stands for the surface area, and ds is just a small change amount in the surface area. Notice the formula is 2 pi r. It's just like the circumference formula, right? And in our case here, we are going to take the arc and rotate about the x-axis. So when you do that, the radius is the y value. right? This right here is the y value when you have this rotation here. And you take the circumference, right? 2 pi r is a circumference formula, but you have to multiply by dl. And the reason is because you have to make this slanted and then rotate that. And that's pretty much a quick explanation in a way that you can remember this formula nicely. And you guys can see my other videos for a detailed explanation for why that formula is true. By the way, enough talking. Here we go. We have to have the integral, of course, 2 pi. When we rotate about the x-axis, the radius is, again, the vertical distance, which is the y value. So let me put down the y, and then we put down the dl, of course. And you see that we have to have the dl here. I cannot set out the limits of integration yet. Well, we have to look back to first part. And if you are doing this question like from scratch by itself, then you have to look back to see what kind of function you have. Because we have y as a function of x, we will have to use this version for the dl, right? So let's see. Integral, we have 2 pi is still 2 pi. We have this y. But again, for the dl, it's pretty much the first part, just the inside without the integration, of course. So let me put that down right here. And now here's the dl. Earlier, we talked about it. When we rotate about the x-axis, the radius is y, but now we are in the x world. So we have to actually look back to what y is in terms of x. So we have to actually write this down because again, y is not invited in the x world. So 
write down this y as the natural log of x squared minus 1, like this. And because we are in the x world, we are going to go from x equals 2 to 8, like that. So this right here is again the setup, and you guys just use the calculator to do the approximation for us. So that'll be cool. Okay. All right, okay, so it's okay, anyway. To find the surface area, if you take the arc, rotate about the y-axis, the only thing different is that when you do it this way, the radius is horizontal. So it's actually the x values now, right? So I will write this down right here for you guys. This right here is equal to the integral 2 pi, and again, in our case here, it's x, right? So this part, the radius, you have to think about it depending on how you rotate. And the DL is still DL, so I will just put that down. And you'll see this is actually really nice because you can just have the integral, 2 pi. Well, let me write down the DL for you guys first, which is still this part. But because we are in the X world, this X is totally fine. You can just go ahead and put down the X. So that will be your legitimate integral. And of course, don't ever forget your limit of integration. In the x world, we go from 2 to 8. So that's it. Here we go. Let's find the arc length first. Well, well, again, there are two versions. This time, we will have to use this version because we have given x as a function of y. So use this version for it. So let's go ahead and put on the integral sign, add up all the little dl's, right? And we have the integral of the square root of 1 plus parentheses. Okay, I need a dx dy now. Well, let me write it down right here for you guys. We know x is equal to negative y squared plus 4y. dx dy is just look at this equation and do your usual derivative but you treat this as your dependent variable now and y as your independent variable and just go ahead and do it the usual way. You get negative 2y plus 4, okay? And you put this right here inside. Negative 2y plus 4 and don't forget the little square right here. And in this case, we are in the y world. So put down the dy here. And because we are in the y world, we have to look for the y values going from where to where. Well, we did it. Starting from here, up to here, from 0 to 4. So that's nice. And we are done. And just like the last video, go ahead, use your TIT, your TIT4, compute it, and leave a comment down below. And you can be the hero. People will like your comments and you feel proud of yourself, right? So do that. Okay, next, we'll talk about the surface area, and now here's the deal. We'll take this arc and rotate about the x-axis, and yes, you will see that there's like one little part is missing, but the deal is that we look for the surface area, so it's like this, this kind of shape. And then this is the surface area, you have the outer part, and then you also have the inner part, right? But anyway, for the surface area, first we have to look at the ds. Formula is 2 pi r times dl. r is the radius. Well, if you have a point right here, for example, the radius is just going to be the y value because it's vertical. This right here is the y value because you are rotating about the x-axis. So it's go like this, right? Take this and then rotate, you get the whole thing. So for when you rotate about the x-axis, the radius is y, and we just put that down, integral, 2 pi y, and let me also write down the dl for you guys, but in blue though, All right? Hopefully, let's see if I can hold three markers in one hand, like that. Now, here's the deal. Integral is still integral, 2 pi is still 2 pi. Let's put down the dl first. dl is from part a, of course, right? It's the same thing. Then we just put that down as how it is. Now, because we are in the y world, this y is totally okay to be right here. So you just go ahead and put down that y as how it is. And 
you are going to pay attention to the y values, which is going from 0 to 4. With that, we are done. This right here will get you the surface area when you take the arc, rotate about the x-axis. OK, part C. When we take this arc, rotate about the y-axis. So it goes like this way. In this case, the radius will be the horizontal distance. Just put like a point right here, if you would like. Go from the y-axis to here. This is the horizontal distance. That's the x value. And when you rotate, you know, that will be the radius. So let's do the same thing. Integral 2 pi, but this time it's x. Right, 2 pi x. And we have to have the dl again. And we'll see that. So far, we cannot finish the integral yet. Right? We cannot put down the limits of integrations because dl doesn't really make that much sense. I don't know which world I'm in yet. Right? All right, put down the integral. 2 pi is 2 pi, of course. dl, again, it's this. So we'll just write that down right here. Now, here's the deal. x, it's not invited in the y world. But it's okay, because we know x and y are best friends, because x is equal to this. So I will just put this down for the x. We must make that change, right? Don't forget about that. So I'll open the parentheses and write down negative y squared plus 4y. And seriously, take some time to use your calculator. Make sure you know how to enter everything carefully and accurately and get your approximation and all that. In the end, the final touch is y again goes from 0 to 4. And I'll wait for you guys to tell me the answer. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm waiting for your approximation. Okay, we are still going to do these three questions, but this time the curve is slightly different because y is now isolated, x is not isolated, right? So to find the arc lengths, of course, we have to have one of these situations. Well, well, it's okay, it's not that bad because we can do some algebra right here. So we, can, we, we are still good, right? But here's the deal. Which one should we isolate though? The x or the y? Well, we were given that y is going from 1 to 3. So that means we should be in the y world, right? Because when you have the dy, that means the integral is set up to go from y to the first number to what the second number for the y. That means we should get the x by itself. So let's make that happen and then do our derivatives and then do the rest of the questions. So here we go. Of course, we can add this on both sides so we can get x cubed equals y to the fifth power plus two. And we will just take the cube on both sides. So this means x is by itself now. And we get, let's write it as y to the fifth plus two raised to the one third power. Because we have to do our derivative, when we do our derivative by looking at this form, we get dx dy being, bring this to the front. So we have one third. And the input stays the same, which is y to the fifth plus two. But don't forget to minus one to the exponent. One third minus one is negative two thirds. And we multiply by the derivative of the inside because of the, the chandu. Okay. And the derivative of the inside is five y to the fourth power. So just multiply by it right here. And right here, there's nothing too much we can simplify. And in the end, we'll just be using our calculator anyway. But I do want to put a 5 on top of this right here, so let me make that happen. So this right here is just 5 over 3, and let's write down the y to the fourth power first, and all this. And let me just write it down like this. It's easier to put it down like this on the calculator. So this right here will be our derivative. Now, our length in action will be using this version. So here we go. We have to have the integral, of course. So integral, square root, 1 is the 1, and we add the parentheses, all that inside here, which is 5 third y to the fourth power times y to the fifth power plus 2 raised to the negative 2 third power. And this right here is the derivative. And we are just going to take this and raise to a second power because the formula says so. And we have the dy here, and dy, right? 
So we are in the white world, we have to go from 1 to 3. And again, if you really want to, you can actually put in the y into the original equations, and you can get the x values, and you can actually use this one if you would like, and then you can get the y by itself, that stuff. It's just easier this way, slightly more convenient. All right, next, we have to have the surface area. Well, rotate about the x-axis, we know the radius will be the y value. So we will have the integral of 2 pi and then the y. And we also have to have the dl. The dl is just all that, so it's not that bad. Now, check this out. I'm about to put in all this for the dl, right? So the y is actually good. Anyway, we'll see this is the integral. 2 pi, and let me just write down the dl, all this right here in blue. And we have to have the y, which is just the y, because y is invited in the y world. Cool. And y goes from 1 to 3, so this is nice. Done. And just like the other ones, you are going to tell me what the approximation is. Now, the surface area, when you take the arc, rotate about the y-axis. In that case, the radius will be the x value. So we will have the integral 2 pi x. And again, multiply by the dl. And then we'll, of course, just do the same thing, pretty much. So we have the integral. 2 pi is still 2 pi. dl is still all that, so I will have to write that down again. But this time, though, x is not invited in the y world. Well, it's okay, because we know x is the same as that. So I will just put this down right here for the x. All right, so enter parentheses y to the fifth power plus 2 raised to the one third power, like that. All right, so we're still done, so this is still good. And we, of course, go from y equals 1 up to 3. All right, so this is it. Hopefully, you guys all find this video to be helpful. And these are not that bad if you can use the calculator to evaluate the integrals. And don't forget your basic integration skills, of course. But anyway, this is it. If you have any questions, you guys can leave a comment down below and let us know. And don't forget to uh, approximate all these integrals with your graphing calculators. Okay, so... That's it.